Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb Edition. We are gonna random today. Oh shit! Blue Baby. Alright, so what do I what do I say about Blue Baby that hasn't been said a hundred times before? Uh, Blue Baby is a piece of garbage and his mere existence makes me angry to the point where I wanna just get a Hulk strength and tear a hatchback in half. Uh, but we're gonna try to make the best of it here. There are really, his ineptitude or lack of ability to succeed is boundless. What with his spirit hearts, that's actually a good pick up right there. Uh, and his poop spacebar item. I think scapular might actually be fantastic with Blue Baby, because I think the way that works is if you lose health and get down to like half of a heart, it gives you a spirit heart, so I'm not sure. I think it might be possible that scapular just gives you a spirit heart every time you get hit as Blue Baby. That might just be me talking out of my ass, that might be totally false. But, you know, I, I don't know, we'll see what happens. In any case, we are definitely going to be able to open the chest in here. Blue Baby, the one thing that makes Blue Baby actually pretty okay now, since Wrath of the Lamb has come out, is uh, if you make it to Mom and you defeat Mom, which is not always guaranteed when you're playing as this absolute garbage man, um, then you have a pretty good chance of doing well against Isaac and Blue Baby in the, the actual boss fights because the Polaroid uh, is going to give you invincibility every single time you get hit. For whatever reason, the Polaroid does not work uh, as it should, or as it was intended, I think. The way it works with other characters, I should say, which is basically like, when you get down to half of a heart, you get a brief period of invincibility, whereas with Blue Baby, since he has no red hearts, he just functions in like, almost perpetual invincibility, at least whenever he gets hit. So there's a lot of flies here. Uh, Duke of Flies has occasionally become a more annoying boss than he used to be, for me anyway. This is a situation where I wish I had like one bomb so I could just go to town on him, but we're probably gonna tear through him pretty quickly in our own right anyway. If Duke of Flies appeared like two floors from now, we'd probably be able to kill him nearly instantly. However, because of the fact that we are not doing solid damage right now, I mean, we're doing okay damage, I guess. It's default, but... Uh, and also, this is a champion, which might give him more HP. In any case, it's making him spawn more of these asshole flies. Uh, I want to kill this green one, but I want it to shoot at the Duke of Flies when it explodes. So I want to almost be, like, right here. Ah, that didn't work. It just blew up right into that rock. Okay, this is going to be the longest Duke of Flies start. Or Duke of Flies boss fight that we are ever going to fucking have, apparently. Okay, laser bullet flies. We can do this for men. We are almost sort of done here. Stop spawning flies. I realize it's in your fucking name, but this is becoming kind of comical. And the championness of your laser bullet flies is not lost on me. I understand that that is. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, so at the end of that fight, I ended up losing an entire Spirit Heart. That's pretty disappointing. But hey, we're gonna pick up Meat anyway. So there's a Spirit Heart back. And people have told me that Meat is not just a damage up, but it, or not just a tears up, but is also a damage up as well. So cool! Hopefully that's true, because we need extra damage, as you saw during that fight. And no big loss, really, on that floor. Obviously, I would love to have five Spirit Hearts as opposed to four, but at least we don't have two. Which is how I often leave the first floor when playing as BB over here. Oh, come the fuck on. Maybe Scapular just does not work at all when you're playing as Blue Baby. That's unfortunate. I was looking forward to getting infinite health. Okay, so we definitely do not want to go to the curse room there. Or this room right here. We have enough keys, though, to definitely go to the shop. Or, uh, yeah, I guess we can go to the shop. But I was, what I was actually thinking of was the item room. We do not have enough money to go to the shop. We definitely have the necessary requirement of keys, though. Alright, Hoppers, you just stay here. Uh, this is definitely worth a bomb. Sadly, I do not have a bomb. This might be worth a bomb. Sadly, I do not have a bomb. So, we got problems here. We're gonna hope maybe our treasure room contains uh, one of those items that gives us a bomb effect. Like, maybe poison bombs and also gives us five bombs in addition to that. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky there. If not, uh, we're looking for, what, not health ups, because they're basically worthless. Uh, we, oh, come on, four immolated hoppers? Uh, not health ups. Damage ups would be fine. Tier effects would be awesome. I don't really want any stat upgrades as Blue Baby except damage ups. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm playing badly, but I'm getting some pretty terrible luck as well. 
But as Blue Baby, what do we need to succeed? Pretty much only the nail. I mean, that's a long shot that we're gonna get it, but if we do get it, then uh, there's lots of good stuff that we can make happen there. So I might buy my way, or I might key my way into the shop, just so that I am able to possibly buy a bomb inside of it, which would allow me to get that spirit heart and open that other chest if possible. But actually, I guess it wouldn't have any keys left. Okay, we got a bomb, that's good. We got another key that's also potentially good. We got Monstro's Tooth, which is better than poop, but not by a whole heck of a lot. It looked like Flavor Flav right now, but I'm actually Turquoise Babe right now. Um, so we'll get Spirit Heart. Why not open this golden chest as well? We need bombs and keys and money, so whatever we get in here is fine. It's like five bombs and lots of red hearts, but the five bombs are the, the principal interest there. We will blow this up, hopefully get some keys and money out of this. Well, we got Flat Penny, which is going to give us keys every time you pick up money, which is awesome. Secret room could be here. It is. Money, please. Oh, this is good. This is real good. Okay, so we got two more keys and we're up to 29 cents. Now we go to the shop. What are we looking for? Nun's Habit, Book of Revelations, Mom's Purse. Eb Candle would be cool, too. 9 volt will be fine for now. I will definitely happily accept that. We'll buy a spirit heart as well and then get the fuck out of here. So we spent 20 cents. I could have bought the bomb as well, but I'm hoping that bombs are not that hard to come by as we move forwards here. Alright, so who's our basement part 2 boss? Famine. So we're gonna wait until possibly Famine. Ah, well, let's just do it right now. So that basically expedited the whole process here. We're gonna get level 1 Meat Boy. Not the greatest item in the whole world, but, uh, you know, level 2 is certainly solid, so if we can fight Pestilence soon, then we can maybe, uh, reap the benefits there. Maybe get a level 4 Meat Boy by the end, though it's unlikely. Neither of those items are worth, you know, the potential of my own death. I would definitely trade 3 Spirit Hearts for the Nail. Would probably trade spe 3 Spirit Hearts for Book of Revelations as well. But, you know, you have to be very cautious with the upgrades you take as Blue Baby. So I think Monstro's 2 3 charges once every 3 rooms. This is an item I don't think I've used with any kind of regularity, maybe ever, so this might be an interesting run. But we'll see. I don't know. I I'm hoping that I get a better spacebar item, otherwise this run is pretty much dead in the water before it even gets started. Stars is item room, I think. Where we find Stigmata, great item, gives us a spirit heart, because we're playing as Blue Baby, normally gives us a standard uh, health upgrade. Monstrous Tooth helped us out a great deal there. Uh, and also gave us a damage upgrade, of course, so that is definitely a bonus. Stigmata, actually one of my favorite items in the game, I think. Uh, favorite, like, non-game-breaking items in the game. I love just stacking damage upgrades. Like, if I could tailor my ideal run in the Binding of Isaac, a lot of people would probably say it would be, like, Brimstone Mom's Knife, and maybe it would be. But I like to think I, I would be okay with, like, a quad shot, polyphemus, and then, like, a freezing or slowing effect on top of that, and, like, piercing as well. I guess piercing and polyphemus kind of are unnecessary to go together. That was very poor on my own part. I don't understand why these guys are taking so long to goddamn die. Just get over life! Um, we'll see what we've got in our mob trap room here. Yeah, we'll open it, why not? Poison touch, okay. Is that worth a key? Potentially. I'm not gonna say no, necessarily. So we can basically use Monstro's Tooth once every two rooms. So we might as well, because, you know, why not? I forget what our last phase here is. If it's turrets, I don't think Monster Suit is going to be effective. So perhaps I might just want to like pop it off right here and see what happens. Because if it's turrets, I mean it's just going to damage them and possibly make everything take a whole lot longer. Please just die. Okay, and the last one. It is indeed turrets. So just come here, please. Okay, one is dead. I need some rage. I need the goddamn T virus. Come on. Okay, one more. Can we get him to pop up, please do. Excellent. Okay, so we'll move onwards here. Monstrous Tooth will recharge in our next room. We've already been to the item room. We are going to look for, uh, I guess, more money, which gives us more keys. Well, I'm trapped. Okay, managed. To oh, this is scary. These guys are getting smarter every single time. 
I guess this guy's just stuck in here, which is fine by me. And with one last conga liner left, hopefully this will be over quickly. Come on, you motherfucker. Okay, extra heart I cannot possibly use. I don't want anything to do with these flies yet. We'll just go fight the boss, I guess. And I didn't mean to sound so indignant there, I guess. But we'll see what boss we have. I was hoping for pestilence. Uh, we're gonna fight this Fallen uh, until he splits in half, and then we'll try to use Monstro's Tooth. This could be either a blessing or an incredible curse, fighting the Fallen right now. I'm gonna guess a little bit of both. Uh, because it all depends what item he is gonna give us here. If he gives us the nail, all is forgiven. If he gives us, you know, fucking Guppy's tail or something. I guess that synergizes pretty well with the, uh, Flat Penny, but still. Okay, now we'll use Monstro's Tooth. That did a lot of damage, I like it. Monstro's Tooth 9-Volt is a nice combination. I think Monstro's Tooth on its own is not as good. Well, I mean, obviously, because 9-Volt just, like, accentuates it. Oh, okay, that went really well. We got, uh, Permanent Curse State. That could be awesome, actually. That was another, uh, thing I meant to mention earlier, actually, is that Blue Baby, in conjunction with Eve's power effect, uh, can actually be really awesome as well. So hopefully this will solve our damage problems. And remember, this is basically a passive for us now. I mean, I guess it's a passive normally, but you have to worry about, you know, picking up health or, you know, going to blood banks and stuff like that. Uh, whereas with Blue Baby, there is no way, even if we got 15 Spirit Hearts, we would still remain in this permanent curse state, which is awesome for us. All we need is, uh, you know, some way to replenish our health, basically. So I'm thinking, or add to our health would be even better. Nail, Book of Revelations, Relic, Miter, any of those items actually I think gives me a pretty good chance of success right now, really. He managed to get out. Okay, well we got a penny over here. You know what, it might be worth a bomb to get this penny. Hear me out. Didn't work. <laughs> I was thinking we could trade bomb for penny plus key, but the key didn't give us, or the penny didn't give us uh, the key drop, so that's unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna check for secret room here. We got lucky. And keys, please. Well, we ended up picking up five keys as a result of that, as well as enough money to make the shop worthwhile. So why the heck not come down here? We haven't fought a mini-boss yet. We could be fighting greed, but we have monsters. Tooth ready. Regardless, what are we looking for? Nun's habit, book of revelations, mom's purse, compass. Compass is fine. I can live with that. Would love to be able to buy that bomb. Might as well shoot this fire just in case there's a penny contained therein. There is not. So, we will just continue moving along here. So I should point out, there's been a little bit of a kerfuffle in the comments, and I'm sorry to, sorry to bring this up 12 minutes into the video, or 13 minutes into the video, about like, yo, Northern Line, where the fuck is Isaac, man? It's been 24 minutes, I'm unsubbing. Uh, Isaac, it's gonna get tapered down just a little bit. There's not any new content to show, and I have a lot of... Like, you guys know that I record in a, a backlog, I record in batches. So I actually have, like, at this point, I mean, I'm probably on vacation by the time this video is being uploaded, but there should still be videos going up every day unless the YouTube uploader is broken, which is not uh, out of the question, because that's the reason... Uh, I don't want this, actually. I, I'm fine with Monstrous Tooth for now, it's been good to me. Uh, the reason that uploads have been a little bit spotty over the past couple days, at least as of the time of this recording, is because the YouTube uploader has been broken to the extent where uh, uh, an Isaac video that normally took, you know, maybe 15 to 20 minutes to upload, they're pretty short or pretty small uh, in terms of file size, uh, it was now taking like four or five hours, which is kind of incredibly inefficient. But anyway, this, this is just sidestepping the whole point. The Isaac videos are, you know, necessarily gonna taper off a little bit just because I've shown, like, literally everything there is to show in the game. I cannot think of one thing existing in this game that I have not shown. If you can, please let me know, but, uh... So, but it's a necessary kind of condition of starting a Let's Play of this game that at some point it is indeed going to... I'm not gonna say finish, but the videos are gonna come a little bit slower. So just relax. Let it happen. The thing is, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do one Isaac video a day for the rest of my entire fucking life. It's getting tapered down a little bit. Now I'm doing like one every two days. Actually, over vacation, it's probably going to be a lot less. It might be one every three days or something like that. But rest assured, as a permanent fixture, Isaac is not going anywhere. But I, I, you don't want to... It, it's career suicide for me to still be playing Isaac in like 2014 or something like that. Let's see what this pill does. 
That's bad. Um, so, you know, things necessarily, just by nature of, of the business here, have to change a little bit. Let's... Wow, that didn't work at all. I, just, I actually attacked Monstro a couple times. Didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, so yeah, just, just relax. The Northern Lion content that most of you enjoy, even if it's not Isaac, is not going anywhere. Sometimes there will be content changes or programming shifts. It doesn't mean that Edmund McMillan and I have broken up and are never talking again. Uh, coin purse. It's tempting. Let's fight our boss first. I want to make sure that I'm going to survive. Uh, and I guess I actually wanted to have Monstro's Tooth ready for uh, the mob trap room as opposed to the peep fight here. Alright, so I wanted to get him to come down here so that the shots would get blocked, and that's exactly how that shit went down. First eye is moving around now, so I have to judge, am I in danger? I don't think so. Now I would be if I was still standing there. Now we're going to come down here. Again, want to keep him in between these two things whenever possible. Second eye has popped. Inevitably, I will get hit by one of these. Because it's simply impossible for me to beat Peep without getting hit. Sabotage myself a lot of the time. Oh, see? I almost got tagged there. Oh! Almost got tagged there! We might be able to do it! My brain is, like, short-circuiting right now. Hey, we made it. Okay. We got an HP upgrade. I mean, it's not the greatest item in the world when you're playing as Blue Baby, because, you know, I mean, that should be pretty obvious. Uh, but... We'll check out this coin purse, see what we got in here. Monstro, meet Monstro's Tooth. Meet Monstro- I can't use it! You can't use Monstro's Tooth against Monstro! Unsubbed! <laughs> Boycott Edmund McMillan, Monstro's Tooth is broken. So, I really don't want to pick up these pills, I want to keep the fight on the uh, outskirts here. Because, if I pick up the pills, it's going to cause me to do that Zelda thing where I hold a pill over my head. Doesn't really appeal to me. Now we'll use Monstro's Tooth. Cool. It killed one of the Larry. It hit. It hurt me? That Monstro can hurt me? Hardly seems fair, does it? Well, uh, I'm really hoping to get like a Joker card at some point and possibly get a deal with the devil. Possibly have that deal with the devil give me the miter. Or I guess deal with the angel using the miter. Okay, let's see what we got here. Pretty fly. That's really good. Now we got a whole suite of flies going around us here. Speed up. Compensates for that speed down pill. Puberty. Okay, so that was a, actually a really good uh, da, 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 mom's coin purse there. I am not going to complain about that at all. We have no money. So what we're going to do is actually come down here and explore a little bit. Pennies are valuable not just because they give us money to go to the shop, but also because uh, they give us the potential to get keys. So I think it would be foolish of me not to uh, pursue every available opportunity to pick up even a single penny. Recall, the street value for a key is like five cents. So, every penny that we pick up is potentially worth a nickel. Although keys are more valuable than, than nickels in certain situations, I would say. That was terrible damage on my part. We did get a key out of it, though. Sadly, the, the red heart is not going to do anything for me. There we go. We got more bombs. Monstrous Tooth is ready. Monstrous Tooth laying the smack down there. We definitely want to use one bomb to get two bombs here. That is just simple economics right there. And a tarot card, which gives us the world, um, it could show us the location of the secret room. Secret room might have a lot of money in it, that's something that could come in handy, I guess. But really, I'm just, I'm just treading water here until we eventually get the Polaroid, which will make us invincible. Alright, that's good. No keys as a result of that, but that's okay. Let's use the world card here. So I'm just gonna see where the secret room is, and it's right over here. This way I don't have to waste all of my remaining bombs, potentially. Contained their end of a ton of money, so we will definitely. Oh, that's awesome. Definitely uh, go to the shop again. We're getting, getting really lucky with these dimes and uh, nickels. And now we're up to 10 keys as well, so I mean, everything on that is positive. Thank God I continue to explore here. Again, wouldn't be surprised to run into a mini boss on our way here. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. We'll fight greed. Greed might drop a ton of money. That equals a ton of keys. Actually, we have Beggar Friend and Spirit Heart. I'm going to buy the Spirit Heart, and then I'm going to come down here and play Judgment, and hopefully Judgment will give me, um, I don't know, maybe Transcendence or something. I don't know if that's even possible to get that from a Judgment drop, but we'll see. 
All right, tons of red hearts. That's a good start for any other character. Robo Baby! Hey, that's a good upgrade. I only paid like four extra cents for that. Uh, I'm not sure how much I paid Judgment to start with, but hey. I'll definitely uh, feel okay about this. Doing all right for health as long as I continue to not, you know, get absolutely buttfucked on every single floor. Not that there's anything wrong or inherently bad about buttfucking. I'm not trying to make a political statement here. You know, there's nothing wrong with... I have no issue with what goes on in your parents' bedroom. But... We will kill all these conga liners. The most annoying enemy, I think, in the new game. And we got Necropolis here, which is not great for us, especially since we can't see where the hell we're going. Why even bother getting the compass at this point? Any hey, extra key out of that. We'll probably be able to visit the shop on this floor, if I remember. Oh, come on. Monstro's Tooth, you're really gonna burn me like that? Why can't I hit anybody? Monstro's Tooth, if you missed it, I think went for the neutral fly in the poop as opposed to attacking any of these nubs that were like closely concentrated in the fucking center. I wish Robo Baby didn't rotate around you. He's not rotate, baby. <laughs> Woo! Classic Northern Lion. Northern Lion is a let's player who's known for his trademark wit, charisma, and uh, yada yada. Uh, just, uh, just, I'm reading my, or paraphrasing my Wicked Tubi article right now. It's like, he's known for his wit. Which, I, I don't know about that. Let's not go crazy here. Uh, his intellect, again, a lot of the times I feel like I'm pretty stupid in these videos. And his distinctive deep voice. Okay, maybe true. So, we're gonna check out the shop here. Nun Sabbath, definitely want that. Uh, I think we are gonna go with Guppy's Head. As opposed to Monstro's Tooth. Monstro's Tooth has been good. Uh, Nine Volt is functionally worthless right now. In fact, uh, Nun Sabbath would be worthless as well. But we'd still want to buy it just in case we pick up a nail or something later. But I think Guppy's Head is going to save us a lot of damage. It's going to allow us to do a lot more damage when we fight enemies here. If only all of my AI-controlled compatriots here would stop firing at the fucking neutral flies. This would probably be a lot easier to do. Alright, motherfucker. Here we go. We're going to leave now. And again, I would love... Absolutely love to pick up these pennies, but I'm not sure I have the bombs to make that worthwhile. Well, I got more bombs, but I still don't think it's necessarily the greatest idea. So you gotta watch out here. At any point, these flies could just go rogue and try to blow up the bomb flies. Okay, we're out of we're out of uh, flies now, which is good. Might not seem good, but believe me, it's good. So we'll try to take out some of these bomb flies before things get too crazy. Maybe even start a chain reaction. That was close. Alright, two bomb flies left, zero bomb flies left, extra key as a result of that, awesome. Again, might seem silly, but uh, I think Nun's Habit is definitely the, the purchase that we want to make here. If we come across the nail, I will be, pr uh, I would be remiss if I hadn't picked up Nun's Habit. You know what, we've got five bombs, let's just use a bomb to get this so we can get Nun's Habit. It doesn't work well with Guppy's head. But it does have the potential to possibly, you know, save us going forwards. Well, either that or we could roll with uh, Monstro's Tooth still. But I, I really think Guppy's Head is better than Monstro's Tooth. I think it allows us to do more damage. Uh, I could be totally wrong on that. But I'm trying to tailor this more towards a, a typical Northern Lion run. And, you know, Guppy's Head is not necessarily a typical Northern Lion item. But it's an item that I've enjoyed using in the past. So why not use it right now? $64,000 question. Will I use... A bomb and a key to open this golden chest? Answer, yes. That was incredibly lucky on my part. Um, the reason why is because whenever you have a penny... That ah, was bad. Uh, whenever you have a penny, I think it's a smart decision. And by penny, I mean the, the trinket penny. Not uh, like a single actual penny. I think it's a good idea because it'll pay out dividends in keys here, as you can see. So bomb and a key gave us like... Eight keys, maybe seven keys, and uh, enough money to buy another Spirit Heart from the shop. So that was definitely worthwhile. I mean, it's not always going to pay out like that. That was just kind of fortuitous in our own right. Uh, let's... Where the fuck am I supposed to go now? I've totally forgotten. I'm going back to the shop. In the shop, I'm going to buy that... Uh, oh, Guppy's head doesn't work sometimes if you use it as you go room to room. Um, yes, I bought the Spirit Heart in the shop, so we're still surviving here. Soon we'll have the Polaroid, and my health concerns will be a little bit alleviated. Although, of course, everything on the womb and beyond is going to do one heart of damage, so... I, I, I really have hard times thinking how we're going to succeed here if I don't end up ever getting, you know, Book of Revelations or, or something along those lines. Damn, I hate these rooms! 
Odd Mushroom, increased rate of fire. Very increased rate of fire. That's really good, actually. So let's trick that one. Kill the fly for us, which is not necessarily the greatest thing. Where are we supposed to go? I hate Curse of Darkness. We've already... Maybe down here now. Okay, yeah, this is actually pretty awesome. So we're going to use a bomb, like, here. And I think that might open up, yes, the pennies on this side. Which will not give us any extra keys. But then extra bombs here. We might as well get this extra set of pennies. I was hoping it would pay out with the key, but sadly not. Oh well. Shit happens from time to time. So we will get Guppy's head recharged after this room, as we get Guppy's head recharged after every room. It's basically like having the mulligan card. Or the mulligan, uh, effect. Yeah, we'll pop this open too. Yeah, Judas' tongue makes deals with the devil cost less. Which might be good, actually. But we're only gonna have one or two more opportunities. Well, actually, only one more opportunity to use it on this boss that we're gonna come across. Uh, because after that, we're just gonna be moving onwards and we'll need to hold on to the Polaroid. And I don't think we got Mom's Purse, so... In fact, I'm 100% confident we didn't get Mom's Purse. So... Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually gonna come in handy or not. But even if it doesn't come in handy, um, you know, Flat Penny is a great trinket, but we'll hold on to Judas' tongue just in case. Just in case we get the chance to uh, do a deal with the devil here. Not necessarily. A l oh my god, I fucked up the. Um, I, was gonna say, I fucked up the guppy's head again. So we'll just keep this up, get an extra key so for freeze. Have I been to the item room on this floor? I don't think so, but we'll fight the boss anyway because we're here. It's gonna be the pony. So we could take the ability to fly right now. Which honestly. Oh, Honestly, I think it's better than Guppy's head. But we'll see what we get with the deal with the devil. It's possible maybe we'll get something for one spirit heart that's just a, a smoking deal. The reason I think that Pony would be so valuable right now is that I can use it defensively, and I really... Oh, deal with the angel, even better. Relic! Oh, that's awesome! Uh, okay, so we're gonna go with the Pony for now. Because I think this flying ability is really gonna help me out. Not just in getting items, as you just saw, but also in... Um, you know, all sorts of good stuff here. I'm really just trying to figure out where the fuck the item room is. If I've been to it or not, I don't think I have. Is it, could it possibly be down here? Where the hell is the item room? Did I go to it? If so, what did I get? Is that where I got... What was my spacebar in that I just had? Guppy's head? No, I got that from a random golden chest. And oh, okay, we got new areas of... Well, one new room over here anyway. This indicates to me... That it's an absolute possibility that perhaps I, um, have mistaken some areas. I just can't remember if I've been to the item room on this floor. It all blends together after a while, you know? So, could it possibly be up? This is the way I just came, right? Did we do something over here? This is where we got started. This is the way to the shop. Okay, I remember that vividly now. It's not down here. Maybe it's far right? Unless, I think I've already been there. Oh, I've already been in there. All right. I forget what it gave me, but I, I remember now. Oh, it gave me Odd Mushroom, of course. Alright, people are screaming at their computers right now. Oh my god! How could you be so dumb? Uh, we're gonna go... Way down here. And do I want Pony? I think so. I'm fine with Judas Tongue for now as well. We're only gonna use it for one more floor. Might as well, um, you know, do this once. And then take Pony and head down to the next floor. And we'll see how this works. I know a lot of people don't like Pony as an item. I think it's okay. It's not great, not gonna change the world, uh, but it gets the job done. We desperately need flying. It's not like I, I have a shortage of bombs or anything, but I, I still, you know, this will help us out in terms of not taking damage, which is pretty important right now. Devil card could be useful on our boss fight if I can manage to hold it till then. Just destroy Chubb here, I really thought he was gonna run into that bomb, instead he blew up the TNT and took almost zero damage as a result. Still, I guess, not doing as much damage as I would like. I want to be destroying Chubb in like 10 seconds tops. Well, that was not that much longer, I suppose, but still. And our item room gives us the game kit, but more importantly, a golden chest, which contains a range upgrade. Awesome. Uh, we're going to make our way over to the shop, potentially, here, which I assume at this point is going to have a mini boss in it. Oh, watch out for that. Two more spirit hearts. That's awesome. 
No complaints there. No extra keys, because I got rid of Flat Penny. I just remembered that. Somewhat disappointing, I guess. And we're at 14 cents, so it's possible we could have a great run at the shop here. Wow. I did not expect this to not have greed in it. But we're just going to buy this. I don't remember what this pill does. Speed up? Sure, why not? Well worth it. I don't think the map is that valuable for us right now. Neither is the arcade, of course, because we would end up losing a ton of spirit hearts, probably. And we're well on our way to getting the Polaroid here, which is important. As you might expect. Uh, use the pony's active effects for once there. Might as well. I have 9 volt and Nun's Habit. So we might as well spam the shit out of that. And two more spirit hearts again. Relic! Uh, at this point, oftentimes I'd be saying too little too late, but I think we might actually be okay with the Relic here. And we got Pageant Boy in here. I'm thinking about it, but I don't think it's worth it. Sadly, if I could reroll it, I would. But the reason I don't think it's worth it is just because what am I going to use money for moving forwards? Uh, there's no chance for like getting shops later. We got Kane's Eye. Again, I I would love to hold Judas doesn't come out right. I would love to hold on to Judas' tongue for as long as possible, like and potentially use it in a deal with the devil on the um, womb part one or the utero part one. But that's probably not going to happen. Instead, we're just going to get the uh, the Polaroid right away. I hope I get a Spirit Heart out of that, so I don't feel so bad about taking damage. And what am I hoping for in terms of what I get from this boss fight? Man, we're getting a lot of good stuff here in terms of Tinted Rocks. Just one more Spirit Heart. Every Spirit Heart counts. We're finally amassing some health. I'm starting to feel like we might have a chance against Blue Baby. What are the, the things that make me feel this? Uh, we have Pretty Fly, Cube of Meat, Pretty Fly, which gives us good defense for blocking those shots from Isaac and Blue Baby. We have Polaroid and no health, which is great because it gives us permanent invincibility. No red health, I should say. Uh, you know, it gives us temporary invis invincibility whenever we get hit. I think we can just go to the boss fight here. We're fighting the kind of asshole version of Mom that comes down very fast, but I think it's actually easier than the alternate versions of Mom, because it doesn't spawn any enemies. So we're just going to keep moving back and forth here, dodging the shots that come out from the walls. You can see the foot come down with, you know, kind of great foresight. Keep moving back and forth. Already over 50% dead. This version of Mom is actually way, way easier to me than the blue version of Mom. I think the only thing that would make this extremely difficult is if you had, like, incredibly low damage. Not that I haven't been there before. But I think I could do this one without even seeing the shadows. I guess I took damage there. Uh, we'll take Polaroid. We might as well take the range upgrade, I guess. And we'll go down to the next floor. Remember that we do have the compass. It might have been worth it to buy the map just so we had, like, map plus compass and could easily find our way to the boss. But I didn't think it was that necessary. Another speed upgrade for us. And this is Womb XL. So if we can find our way to the boss quickly, uh, we are going to be sitting pretty. Because we're going to have to deal with, like, way less runes than normal, which is awesome. So we might actually have a chance of, you know, having a decent amount of spirit hearts, like the amount that we have right now, uh, as we move on to the uh, cathedral, which would be fantastic, I think. This is not the right way, sadly, which is actually sort of infuriating, because you're like, oh my god, now it's, like, 50 rooms away. We have to go, like, probably down right, is my guess. There are possible benefits here. For example, uh, we're going to get more Relic uses at this point. I have Poison Touch. That's another thing that's going to make it good against Isaac, because every time I get that invincibility, I can just rush up and give him a little bit of the, the Poison Touch and do what should be a solid amount of damage to him. Remember, there's always a chance as well for uh, Libraries down here, now that we have... Oh, we don't have the Mitre, we have the Relic. That's fine. I guess there's still a chance for Libraries, maybe? I don't know. It's not, a, it's not a huge deal. What would I want? Book of Revelations, pretty much. Like, we're not going to get anything better than that at this point. Uh, and Pony's doing fine for us. Know a lot of people shit talk Pony as an item. I think it's alright. The cyst is not alright, though. The cyst is annoying as fuck. We can just get one or two more barrages, maybe? There we go. Extra bombs. Okay, this is indeed looking like the way to the boss room. But it might be a little while. Pony active effect is actually really good in this situation because A, it gives you invincibility, and B, we have poison touch. So even though the pony's active effect doesn't do that much damage, it, in conjunction with poison touch, seems to be enough to kill most enemies. Uh, and we are going to be using that extensively. I guess that's the other thing. We can use the pony's active effect very often. 
when we are uh, fighting Isaac and Blue Baby. I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I, I feel like we're probably going to make it to Isaac easily. But making it to Blue Baby might be a little bit of a long shot, you know? That's, the chest is not an easy place to go to. And I am starting to wish that I bought the, the map now. This is a foolish bravado. If I'd bought the map, I probably would have not lost a Spirit Heart on the way here. Well, I can't say that with any sort of authority. We don't know what this pill is, and that's a little frightening to me because we've gotten a lot of good pills, which indicates to me that there's probably a lot of bad pills left in the rotation still. So... I'm just gonna take these dudes out without using the active effect on the pony, depending on the bosses we fight. We'll see if I want to use it on the first boss or the second boss, but so far this is turning out to be a surprisingly decent run. Who we got here? Triakin, Daddy Longlegs, I can never remember. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to save my pony's active effect. Remember, if I, if I get hit, that's fine. I can just walk up and give him a little old uh, poison tea. As you can see right there, he's getting eaten by that a little bit. So just gonna keep, oh, come on. For some reason, you can only seem to hit those legs like once. Alright, managed to not take damage there, somewhat surprisingly to me. And he's dead. And we get an HP upgrade, which is just a spirit art. But that's fine. Necessary at some points, for sure. So we're gonna take out the lasers without getting hit ourselves. Not always the easiest order here. Perfect. And with 13 bombs, now we get started. Blowing them up. Monster is gonna be a pain in the ass. Who do we want to use? I think I want to use my uh, pony effects on zombies. Probably not surprising anybody by saying that, but... So Larry Jr. is just gonna explode. Zombies are gonna die. Okay, we don't even need to use our pony effect on zombies then. Oh, I got hit. Poison touch. I don't think it worked. Might have worked there. I don't know if it worked there. That was probably a bad use of pony. Whatever, we get another treasure here right away as soon as we defeat Mom's Heart, which is, you know, happening very, very shortly in all likelihood. Chub. And permanent bombs. Yes, this is like textbook mom's heart boss fight. As soon as Chubb comes out, you get permanent bombs. A little poison touch a little bit there. I'm taking more damage than I would have liked, but we're still doing fine for health, so I'm not going to sweat it too much. Thank you for killing Chubb. He was getting a little bit too close to me there. Awesome. Oh, we don't get another treasure for beating mom's heart, but in any case, we're going to go up to the next floor and make our way over to the left where we will presumably... Why is Poison Touch not working when I'm using the Pony? Uh, maybe I didn't hit them directly or something? I don't know. It seems silly to me. So, one of these guys has to be dying soon. We still don't really have enough HP, or enough uh, damage, I meant, to really scare the shit out of Greed. In order to make that happen, or to scare the shit out of Isaac and Blue Baby, in order to get that, we would need, like, a Mom's Knife, probably. Uh, but... I'm not going to complain, because I did not expect to even be alive at this point. Well, that's not good. This shit. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Uh, uh, I think we're going to go bottom left here. It's my prognosticating tells me this might be a good way for us to go. Extra spirit art from the relic, very important right now. Excellent. Chose wisely. Somehow did not get hit there. Even though I deserve to. I wish when it ran into the pony. Oh, oh, god damn it. Let's just bomb our way out of this room. I have no in I have no interest in staying here. I just wanna pony, get away from the door, motherfucker. Okay, we're out of here. Oh my <laughs> You might think I'm doing this on purpose, I assure you I am not. Just get the fuck out of here. Go fight, okay? Is it gonna work? I don't know. Problem is, we got Robo Baby, who is just gonna be like continuously causing this dude to fire bullets at us. But we do have Cuba Meat and a set of Pretty Flies <clears throat> trying to save us here. Cuban Meat and a set of Pretty Flies this weekend at the Olive Garden. I don't know. I imagine like a shitty like faux pipe band or something. I don't know where I'm going with this. Lou Bega singing Mambo Number no. Five and Tricky Tricky to a packed house. Only there for the free breadsticks. I'm trying to paint it. Just imagine what I'm saying right now is being said in Tom Waits' voice. Poison the shit out of him. I think I'm gonna survive this. 
Should really be using the pony's active effect more often. I might not survive this. But rest assured, like, oh, I didn't have the pony's active effect. Rest assured, I'm doing my damnedest here to, to keep things going. There's a lot of shit on the screen right now, though. They should make an item that charges um, based on kills, but it's not rage. Like, it charges your spacebar item based on kills. You call it the priest's... You know, you got the nun's habit, maybe like the priest's... I don't know. Celibacy. I don't know where I'm going with this. We, we've lived! Now all we have to do is destroy the angel fetuses who are getting dangerously close to me. There's one dead. If we make it to the chest, there's always a chance. Alright, well, Blue Baby going to the chest is already a victory in my eyes. What do we got here? Telepathy for dummies. Sacrificial knife, which is pretty bad in my mind. So we got basically nothing worth anything, and we're gonna die almost immediately. But we'll try it. We got Champion Pestilence. And Champion... Oh no, Regular Famine. Which is good. I don't know if I'd be able to deal with the Champion Famine right now. This fly is pissing me off. So Pestilence, you should be dead. Yes, thank you. Relic, if there is any sense of fairness in your heart or whatever you are, you anthropomorphic crucifix, please give me a spirit heart at the end of this room so I have a chance. That is not a spirit heart. Alright, double super lust. Luckily, I don't have to sweat the creep. However... Sometimes these dudes get some brownie in motion, you know, they jump, they bump into each other, they start moving faster somehow. Assuming they don't do that unpredictably, I should be able to prevail here. Sometimes you get stuck in the corners on the chest, like, I don't know why. Uh, I just really want one of them to die, and then the second one to die, so that they can both be dead and I can move on. Please, help me. Well, come on, one of you has got to be close, at least. Yeah, oh, they both died at, like, exactly the same time, and they dropped Yum Heart. That was sweet of them. Sweet and totally useless. I don't like being in this corner. Well, okay. Should probably... Try to break those big brains as soon as possible. So I'm getting tired of running the Matrix here, trying to figure out which directions to dodge in. Okay, well, we're still ticking here, um, kind of surprisingly to me. And we might find, yeah, this is going to be our boss room. We're fast enough, for sure, to get away from these troll bombs. The only problem is I would much prefer these guys to be on, like, the same side, so that their bombs came out on the same side, so I could dodge away from all of them. Oh, there's the secret room, but we can't go in there, because sometimes we'll get trapped. I don't want to risk it, in any case. Oh! How, do, how am I alive? I don't understand. Okay, but we're... Okay, we got some stuff here. We got an extra spirit heart. We got war. What is it good for? Giving us a meat boy. But we can't get it because we're on the chest and it's not a real boss room. Hoo yeah! Uh, please. War, you need to... We need to fight this out, buddy. Um... Like, war, I, I don't mean this to be offensive, but you need to die, like, immediately for me to have any semblance of a chance here. And we probably need about five spirit arts to drop on this room, which is something that strikes me as probably unlikely. Uh, but, you know, maybe we'll get lucky here. I mean, the fact that we've survived to get to Blue Baby here is shocking enough to me. We stand basically no chance here. Let's let's outline our expectations before we go in, so no one's going to be surprised. Uh, but you know there is, I guess, a, you know, one in a one in fifty shot maybe of my victory here. It's going to require some superhuman dodging, the likes of which I haven't seen since I, I beat Jamestown. But I guess it's it's not out of the question. Drop some fat bombs in here. Come on, Blue Baby. We got him down to about a third. Oh, man, that could have killed me right there. And the real problem is going to be if we survive long enough. Are we unkillable with the scapula? Is that what's happening right now? Because if so, that's real cool. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Maybe scapula does make us invincible. If so... Nope, it doesn't. 
<laughs> but in any case, thank you guys for watching. That was a good blue baby run. I'm pleased with it anyway. So as always, post Isaac stretch. Ugh. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.